Alright, this is the sixth episode of the Octopath Traveler Mega Series, and the beginning of the sixth path that I'll be playing, um, which is Ophelia the Cleric's Path. She hails from the snow-swept Frostlands, where she dutifully serves the Order of the Flame under her adoptive father, the Archbishop. And her adoptive, adoptive sister and best friend prepares to embark on a perilous pilgrimage. She stands ever at her side, but unbeknownst to the both of them, events are about to take a tragic turn. So, let us begin the sixth story. May the sacred flame light your path on this fine day. And may it ever shine its warmth upon you. <laughs> How many times have we said those words? And yet... They seem to take on a whole new meaning now. Each day is one day closer to my departure. Perhaps I'm more nervous than I thought I was. Liana? You needn't worry about me. I was born to make the pilgrimage. My father did the same 20 years ago. As his daughter, I cannot let him down. You really are incredible, Liana. I don't know how you do it. What? As the Archbishop's only true-born daughter, everyone always expects so much from you. And yet you never fail them. Each of your sermons is more inspiring than the last. Now, the pilgrimage, so much is placed on you alone. Don't be silly. I'm not alone. I have you, don't I? And everyone at the cathedral. Why, you're the one who helped me think of a topic for that last sermon, Ophelia. You even stayed up nights with me to draft it. A willing set of ears and a few pretty words, that's all I could offer you. I wish I could do something that would truly help you. Oh, abandon such worries and come, my sister. Father is expecting us in the chapel. Alright, and here is that other tutorial about the radar, which is just a little mini-map telling you where to go and things like that. I can turn it off with the R button, but eh, no point. Uh, I'm gonna check out this room really quick. And there's nothing here. Yep, nothing here. Okay. Wow, this place looks really nice. In the beginning, the 13 gods created the land. They shaped the mountains, filled the seas gave life to mighty trees and myriad beasts, and then they created men who would become masters of the land. Yet one god, Galdera, was too greedy to part with his creations. And so the twelve deities of good were forced into a desperate struggle with the cruel Galdera, lord of the most infernal magics. In the end, the conflict was brought to a close by Aelfric, the Flamebringer, lord of all that is holy. Aelfric called astral fire down upon Galdera, sapping his strength, then sealed him away in the afterworld. A divine flame to chase the shadows. This is the sacred flame that shines down on the land of Orstera, bringing warmth and guidance to its people. <laughs> there you are, my girls. Your Excellency, may the sacred flame ever light your path. Have you need of us here, Father? 
I wish to see you, that is all. Do carry on with your duties. As you wish, Your Excellency. It is as if the two of you have become women grown in but the blink of an eye. How long has it been, Ophelia, since you came to us? Fifteen years, Your Excellency. Or near enough so. Fifteen years. I suppose it is little wonder that you have grown so. I was but an orphan, Your Excellency. Starving and sickly. I would not have lived to see this day if you had not taken me in. I may not have said it enough growing up, but my heart is full of gratitude for all that you have given me. No need for such words, my child. We all follow the path the flame illuminates for us. Come on, Feely. We're family. You, father, and I. There's no need to be so formal about it. Why should you have to thank us for being with you? That's what family's for. Of course. You're right, Liana. And besides, Father may be a great Archbishop in here, but we both know he's just an old layabout at home. Isn't that right, Father? <laughs> an old layabout? <laughs> Oh, you wound me, Liana. I know your duties at the cathedral keep you busy, Father, but honestly, you're no help at all when it comes to keeping a household running. Would it kill you to cook a meal or dust the bookshelves from time to time? Oh, my. <laughs> when you... Put it that way, I suppose I am quite useless after all. So even the great and beloved Archbishop falls short in the discerning eye of his daughter. So it would seem, Ophelia. <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> now, tell me, Liana. Are you prepared for your journey to the Cave of Origin? But of course, Father. I am ready. In the deepest recess of that cave is where you will find the first flame. You will take the ember to the churches across the realm, where it will serve to light the sacred fires that warm and protect all the lands. This is the kindling, the time-honored rite held without fail once every twenty years since the days of old. Your journey will not be an easy one. As soon as you step foot into the wilderness, you will be met with lawless villains and savage beasts. Yes, many a servant of the church has made this journey throughout our history. Some never returned. But I know you can do this, my daughter. Everyone has put their faith in you. You have my word, Father. I won't let you... I won't let anyone down. I will carry out the right, just as you did 20 years before. Very good, my child. Very good. <laughs> Father? Are you all right, Your Excellency? <clears throat> it's nothing to worry yourselves over. Just my years announcing their advance. Oh, you mustn't sound so gloomy, Your Excellency. There is still so much we would learn from you before we let you call yourself Archbishop Emeritus. 
Ophelia is right, father. Like she always is. You should retire for the day and let your body recuperate. We can handle things from here. We will let the pontiff know that you are resting in your chamber, sir. When my two girls insist, who is this old man to deny them? I will leave the preparations for today's service to you. We will take care of everything, Your Excellency. I'll see Father back to his chambers. Thank you, Liana. I will see to our duties here. Well then? I suppose I had best start preparing for the next service at once. Oh my, what is a child doing here all alone? Uh. What is the matter, child? <laughs> it's my mama. She's gone and I can't find her anywhere. Come back, Mama. Don't leave me here all alone. Won't you come with me? No, no. Let's try those tears. Why don't I help you look for your mother? Can you really find her? Of course. Of course, my child. The sacred flame will show us the way. Though I should be preparing for the service. No. I simply cannot abandon this poor boy. If I hurry, I should still be able to finish everything in time. <sighs> Path actions. Ophelia can guide townspeople and they follow wherever she goes. Okay. Yes. Let the flame guide your path. Really? You'll really help me find her? Okay, cool. Is there anything over here? Uh, I'm gonna uh, say no. Probably not. Okay. Flames Grace Cathedral Entrance within the Frostlands. Oh, this is the place from the, uh... Wow, this place looks gorgeous. Just take it in, folks. Wow, that looks amazing. Mother! She was right out here? Young man! Okay. <laughs> oh! Based on that little bit of dialogue that uh, Ophelia Thank had, you. I guess she has like doubt that, um, <laughs> doubt that like she is really considered family or something, even though um, the Archbishop and her sister really do welcome her with open arms. I see. I guess, or something like that. That's my assumption, but I'm not too sure. It was very little dialogue if after I all. If I might. If I might have a moment, sister. Who are you? 
of course. Yes, might I be of some service, my good sir? <laughs> Would you know where I might find His Excellency the Archbishop? Uh... May I ask who is looking for him? <gasps> ah! Ah, pray forgive my lack of manners. My name is Matthias, a trader with the Lionel Consortium. Consortium. Hmm. The Archbishop has generously de uh, deigned to engage in a transaction of sorts with us. Well then? A traitor. I see. It's an honor to meet you, sir. I am Sister Ophelia. Oh! Oh, so you are Sister Ophelia. I've heard so much about you. When the Archbishop contacted me to request my services, he spoke much of his two daughters. <clears throat> I also heard that Sister Liana will be the next flame bearer. The realm is blessed to have such loyal servants. It is, as a matter of fact, to equip your sister for her forthcoming journey that the Archbishop has summoned me here today. Is that so? We are much obliged for your support. No, no. Think nothing of it, good sister. It is the duty of the faithful to serve the church, as the church so tirelessly serves us. N no S Sister Ophelia, you must come at once. Oh, no. <gasps> Whatever's the matter? It's a disaster! Oh. He collapsed? But how could... Master Matthias, forgive me for abandoning you when you've journeyed so far, but... No, no. Do not spare a moment's thought for me, sister. Pray, go to the Archbishop's side at once. Forgive me. I thank you for your understanding, sir. Please excuse me. He just left? I wonder Your why. Excellency! Ophelia, please! Please, please take a moment to take breathe. Take a moment to breathe. I didn't know that part was gonna get voiced. Ha, whoops. Forgive me, Liana, but His Excellency... What His Excellency needs most now is rest. Please try not to excite him. Of course. Forgive me. <clears throat> Anna. Yes, Father? In the pilgrimage. The sacred flame. yourself, Father. I will perform the rite without fail, just as you taught me. That is uh, going to be yeah. here. Father? Father? He's not dead, is he? Worry not, Sister Liana. Okay, He's good. Only resting. Good. Sister Liana, are you not well? <sighs> I'm... I'm fine. I... I think I just need some fresh air. By her side at a time like this. Is there any reason why I would guide someone? Um, 
Mm. I really have no idea why I would. But, uh, okay. Guess we should go ahead and talk to, um, uh, Sister Liana. This is the main town, I guess? Oh, wow. It's really nice here. Cold, but nice. Um, I'll save. Sure, why not? Ooh, don't want to overwrite that file. There we go. Nice. Okay. Wait, where is she? Oh, she's way up there, I guess. Liana, how are you feeling? Ophelia? <sighs> Liana! What am I to do, Ophelia? Father! My father is... Liana... Thinking about what might happen makes me feel so scared, so angry that I... I feel like my heart might just burst. But if I fall to pieces now, everyone will lose hope. I must be strong. And soon, I must depart on the pilgrimage. The right cannot be put off any longer. There are centuries of tradition we must obey. But... Leaving my father behind, without even knowing if I'll ever, ever see him again. Don't despair, Liana. We are together in this. We will find a way. Ophelia. It has been 15 years since His Excellency took me in. My family lost in the war, I was left with nothing and no one to care for me. Now then. Do not despair, Ophelia. From today, we are your family. This is Liana, my daughter, your new sister. My name's Liana, but you can call me Anna if you'd like. Huh? What's the matter with her? Oh. Liana, I'm afraid that Ophelia has gone through something very sad. So let us see that she is cheered once more. Together in the light of the sacred flame, we will find happiness. Yes, Father. I'll be the best sister ever, Ophelia. My first days at the Archbishop's home, I kept to my room and spoke to no one. It was she who brought me out of my shell. Liana, my best friend, my sister. Hey, Feely! Don't you want to go outside? Um. Hmm. Oh, I know! There's some place I just have to take you! What? And this way, up here. Where where are we going? It's 
It's just a little further. Come on, we're nearly there. Here we are. What is this place? become your favorite place too hmm? it's beautiful she got that right this view is awesome isn't it though that's why I love it here. The atmosphere is amazing. I wouldn't live here though, it's way too cold. Here, Feely, this is for you. So now, won't you play with me? Uh, still no? Crying? No, I'm not. I'm not crying. Good to hear it. We are going to be the best of sisters, Feely. I just know it. I... I'd like that too. Liana. Then it's settled. Oh, next time, I'll teach you my favorite game, and then... Oh, whoa. That cathedral looks amazing. After I lost my family, I was convinced it was my fate to be alone and miserable for the rest of my days. But Liana brought me out from under that dark cloud, and gave me the strength to start living again. off like that. I'll return to Father's side and stay with him as long as I can. Yes. Pray do that, Liana. He will rest all the easier knowing you are with him. The Archbishop's illness weighs heavier on Liana than anyone else. And yet... She must hide from that from all around her. Tomorrow she is set out she used to set out to gather the ember from the cave of origin. In that case, if I were to gather the ember in her place, Liana could stay by her father's side. Of course, I cannot bear to leave him either. And if someone else were to gather the ember, that same person would have to go on the pilgrimage and complete the rite. <sighs> to say nothing of straying into that cave without the church's blessing. I'd get more than just a stern lecture, that's for sure. Uh. As I recall, the Cave of Origin lies within the foothills to the east of here. <laughs> Exit the town to the east and make for the Cave of Origin. Oh, uh, okay, there we go. And so now we have our new objective, which is getting to um, the Cave of Origin and getting that ember. Which is something that we will be doing in the next episode. Um, where is a save point? Okay, thank you. But yes, I will save for now. Thank you all so very much for watching the uh, exposition episode for Ophelia's Path in Octopath Traveler. In the next episode, uh, we will be doing... Oh, uh, shoot. Who is that character? I don't remember. I want to say it was the merchant, but it might be someone else. Or no, it was the scholar. Um, anyways, thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, vote in the comments who you want to see uh, in the next episode when we continue after the exposition rounds. And 
Of course, have yourself a good day.